Hi, uh, Richard Dawkins was asked a question about evil uh, about the evolution of religion, and the question uh, asked about if evolution was the survival of the fittest, then could it not be that evolution produced religion, and that religion helps us to move away from the survival of the fittest? mentality and that was the way of evolution of helping to shift away from this kind of destructive cycle of the survival of the fittest. Richard Dawkins uh, reply to that is no because religion uh, you don't need religion to do that the sort of golden rule that we should love came from other ancient traditions etc but I just think that that's there were so many gross um, gross misconstructions about history and, uh, and about the nature of philosophy and the nature of how we got here philosophically and ethically if you look at the history of western civilization oops sorry did I use the word western civilization where did that come from? Oh, it came from the Enlightenment. Oh, why did the Enlightenment use the word Western civilization? Well, because prior to the Enlightenment, it w the history was seen from a Christian perspective. So, in other words, the rationalists came in, wanted to rewrite history, rewrite Christianity re out of history, and so started to use the word Western civilization to de-Christianize history. So what does that mean? Well what it means is if you look at the history of uh, 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 of the West uh, prior to the Enlightenment as the West was developing it had a massive impact by Christianity. Its influence on culture, its influence on the novel, on playwriting, on poetry on science. All the basic foundations of science were laid because of the Christian faith prior to the Enlightenment. So all the great contributions that Christianity made to Western culture, the West tried to rewrite it out by calling it Western civilization rather than prior to the Enlightenment it was called Christendom. And the history of of the West was called Christ, it was a Christian history. So Richard Dawkins is is just not being honest about how we got here in in our modern civilization. We could not have got to the point where we have without the influence of Christianity, the centrality of Christ in our culture has been significant and to say that uh, we didn't need religion that the golden rule was everywhere in ancient history um, one question is well why is it in ancient history second question is you not why aren't you really looking at the significance of the impact of Christianity on West Western history could it not be that really you're ignorant of history and you're, you're ignorant of historiography and how the Western intellectuals from the Enlightenment have tried to rewrite history in the name of rationalism without giving due respect or without acknowledging the central impact of Christ upon our culture today. Thank you.